Hi everyone, today I want to do a super quick little Christmas haul and there are going to be only a few items which I bought um, keeping in mind that I wanted to create some of like Christmas crafting um, projects nothing too big because I don't have the time this year it's been super crazy busy here but um, I just thought that uh, it could be useful to some of you and maybe you'll get inspired to do something crafty too so to begin with this is actually from a few different places probably about four different places um, so first of all I got some Christmas ribbon which is really a twine it's not a ribbon it's just like a classic um like a cotton yarn um twine with white and red and i really like it because it reminds me of candy stripes um like on a candy cane um and yeah so that's why i got it it's really good for creating tags which i have somewhere oh here they are this is um, like one of those we did with my son in the other video. I'll try to put a card up here if you want to see how to make um, this little tag. There is a tutorial. So yeah, this type of twine would be great for a little tag um, to put it on a Christmas tree just to make it a bit more Christmassy um, if you prefer like a Christmas themed decoration. And then also with the white and the red, I got this Christmas ribbon, striped ribbon. So I could do something with that. And then, so this, the both of them, they are from Hobby Craft. Then the other things I got from Hobby Craft is a couple of these items here. So I got a little bumblebee because I just really like the look of it. And I had something in mind for it, not just a, like a regular stamping, but I thought maybe embossing with some gold uh, embossing powder or something like that, um, that it could possibly look very interesting um, and also be quite an eclectic um, image to hang on the Christmas tree. Um, as a little paper craft bobble type of thing so I will see about that if I do decide to do something like that I will try to share it on a tutorial here um, then there is now at Hobbycraft a couple of the Spellbinders um, die sets I noticed which is great because um, this was a while ago I went on to Spellbinders um, website and try to order quite a lot of things because they just do such beautiful beautiful really cool looking die sets and I love that they are with this like rose gold um, metal and they just stand out I love their packaging I love the imagery it's very kind of contemporary um, so you basically can create these beautiful pandas um, so you have a variety of a standing up panda and a sitting down panda which I thought are just so adorable so I can't wait to make these with my son um, and yeah they could go on a Christmas tree as well and um, yeah so this was great that um, Hobbycraft now has the spellbinder so if you don't know have a look in your local um, spellbinder and yeah so where I was going with it is I put so many items in there it was going to be quite an expensive purchase but once I got to the paying part of it and I selected the shipping to UK it was so bad that I just left it and um, it was like extraordinary high keeping in mind that I have ordered from US quite a lot and I'm used to sort of paying you know obviously for shipping and um, sometimes even custom charges but this was just unrealistic it was just not <laughs> it was painful so I ended up contacting the company and saying that I would love to order like a lot of products from them but I just cannot because I can't justify the shipping that they're putting there so unfortunately 
it is what it is you know the company can't do anything about it and therefore i i'm not going to purchase from spellbinders directly so i hope we will have um more and more of this um die sets available here in uk this is just super super cute um there was one of them do you remember when they had the typewriter oh my gosh i wanted that one so badly i think it was in one of their kits or something a little typewriter with different um layers of paper and you could slide a piece of paper in there which you could you know use um your own typewriter if you have um, to type something like a little note and make it look like it came out of the paper typewriter. It was just so, so cute. Okay, so that's that. Then I also decided to get a mini paper trimmer. Um, so this is also Hobby Craft, their own brand. And it's a perfect um, small one for when I'm working on little paper projects with my son or... Um, if I wanted to do like Christmas cards or any cards related projects because the, because of the sizing it's just perfect. Um, also I like to illustrate on smaller sizes of paper like A6 and um, so that sort of works perfectly for that and I'm trying to think how tall this is. Hold on. It is... Is that 15? I think it's 15 and a half or thereabouts. So it's six inches from this point to that point or almost five and a half, sorry, 15 and a half um, centimeters. So that's quite um, useful to have a small one because it's just need to keep it on your desk if you have a small working area space. It's just easy to pull it in, leave it on a desk because right now my layout is so that I have a drawer um, in front of where I'm sitting and I have to kind of pull it out so if I'm working with a camera um, I put it back in the drawer but then I have to move the camera and there's not enough space to to leave it on my desk but when something is that small it's easier to find a little space on your desk so that's from Hobbycraft then I'm just thinking where I should move this to the epic problem of no space so let's see so this one let's talk about this one I ordered this Tombow Mono Zero elastic eraser from Jackson's along with a couple of other things oh hold on speaking of which where is it gone now I had it on my desk it is just hopeless at the moment. I can't find um, the tube of watercolor paint. So I bought um, the um, Daniel Smith 15ml tube of naphtamine maroon uh, from um, Jackson's as well in that order. And I just can't find it. It just disappeared on my desk. But it's a color that I really wanted to try for a long time. Um, I'm sure I'll find it. It's just I need to get out the um, orders that are going to happen this week for my watercolor palettes. And then I bought actually another one of those um, trolleys with uh, three compartments from Ikea. So I have already Kogan, Hogan, something like that. I forgot what it's called. I had the black one and I bought another one because I just need to really... Um, sort out things as I'm having now an Etsy shop and everything is really all over the place and I haven't had a proper chance to uh, organize my studio okay so when I find it I promise I will do the swatches it's a beautiful kind of burgundy maroon type of a um, wine Bordeaux wine type of a color very very gorgeous so I will swatch that out for you now back to this one which is a Tombow eraser i have been eyeing this one for a long time this particular one is 2.3 so it's like a pencil and there is a tiny eraser that comes at the bottom and i need to look into where to get the um the replacement because it will run out pretty quick it's it's a really thin tube of eraser so it's great for detailing it's fantastic for um 
small kind of illustrations if you're doing like a face illustration or any type of uh, small sized illustration to instead of going with a, like a big um, chunky eraser you just go right into the spot where you need to erase it so it's a great great for detail work as well as uh, botanical art and there are loads of different colors that you can choose it from as well like a neon green and all, all that I'll link it down below so have a look um, okay so that's that next thing uh, let's look at this so I went to Tiger it's this um, doesn't say anywhere here but it's a it's a shop that has this logo and it's called Tiger it's kind of like a small cute shop version of uh, IKEA IKEA obviously has a huge amount of products but at a very um, affordable price these guys they always have something new they change their um, products very regularly um, and it's all all of it is very affordable and you can find a lot of cute stuff like this bowl here I bought from there actually it's it's like a coconut shell um, that has been made into a bowl and then they somehow stuck some real um, mother of pearl shell like the inside of shells uh, in like a polka dot I mean it's just so adorable so I, I always find something super cute in there I also will show you another little bowl I got from there which probably is quite dusty now yes it's this one here it's a little bit dusty but basically I keep it on my windowsill to keep like little ephemeras and when I'm working with gold um, flake look at that uh, I had some gold flakes in here and they just embossed onto there. Uh, I could clean it out if I wanted to, but it's really just pretty as it is. I wish I got a few more of these balls because they're great for when you're having little projects. I popped in there again and mainly I popped in to get some small items that I could put in my son's uh, advent calendar. So... I wanted to show it, but um, I I didn't have time to film this video earlier. Yes, yeah, so it went... Um, on the 31st and I had to finish it on a Sunday so over the weekend I popped in there and got loads of small things like um, like craft related um, things so we can um, he can enjoy and play and we can create different projects so there was a roll or like a big pack of these metallic um, washi tapes so I haven't tried it yet so I don't know how I mean it feels pretty good quality so that's the inside of it and then it kind of has this like a Crete paper texture um, and they have loads of different colors like a silver a gold green a pink and a bunch of other colors and I kept this rose gold for myself um, then I also spotted this alpha but um, stamp set I always like to have a different fonts and so I really enjoyed that that was pretty good I can't show you I have used it already um, I can't show you because I'm working on something I'm designing a new product so it's a little secret but um, I was just on the same page I stamped them out and they looked pretty good to me now they come with this um, two ink um these two ink pads one in red one in black the black looks like it's got some sort of mold or some sort of issue there and the red i mean they just look really bad and cheap the lid keeps coming off so i'm just i kept them for you to show that if you don't have any ink pads it comes with that but i'm going to check mine away because they're not great qual quality at all i would highly recommend if you're buying a nice stamp set then buy um like a good ink now they're done really good quality they're thick enough the the issue usually is that the image is not thick enough and therefore when you stamping it you also end up touching the corners of it around um, the image and it ends up a very messy stamp but in this case they're nice and tall and so you can stamp pretty easily and pretty good quality so I don't remember how much this was but there was like a couple of pounds so quite affordable all of their products tend to be quite affordable 
all right so that's that then i wanted to share these because for a while i know uh one of my or actually a couple of my viewers um said that they were out of stock on amazon i think at one point uk or us as well so they seem to be back in stock um on the uk side so uh yeah so these are back in stock the one that i use is this one i mean i use and love mine dearly i'll just give you a little look so here is mine. The first one I got, I bought a little cover for it. For the second, I decided not to do it because I feel like if I want to, if I finish this one, I'll just use the cover for that one. I don't know. I'm just, I'm all right without having a cover this time. Although you can see that the cover has protected um, the actual paper from getting dirty. But you can also create some art on these um covers which is pretty good so I'll try to do that at one point but yeah so this is you can see this is the only part that's left the rest of it is all filled up all filled up so yeah and then I have at the back I always do like my little swatches and tests and then over here we just have a little left so i i wanted to really make sure i have another one because i really like the size of it the paper everything about it is great um as i was under ordering this one i also oh and the other thing i noticed that in my original one i have like a white um bookmark here and in this one it seems to be a yellow one so i don't know whether they changed it or updated it I have no idea just to, wanted to let you know that it seems to be the same thing just looks a bit different with the bookmark and then this is the one that's got a grid so it's the same thing it's a um, MD notebook which is cotton I think it's 100 is it 100 percent cotton it's it's called the um, cotton notebook by Midori and so you can see this is the grid. It's like a slightly blue. I can't show you in the beginning of it because I, like I said, I'm designing something. So it's a blue grid and it's really helpful for when you are, um, you know, creating some sort of designs uh, to keep them straight and uh, things like that. So that's that. They have a really nice way to them, all three of them. So I really like that. And then finally, something I wanted to mention again, um, maybe it would be useful for someone who hasn't seen it yet, but basically these are um, great little things to look out for. So during this festive time here in UK, I'm sure everywhere else uh, in the world as well, there are magazines that are usually paper craft related, card making, um, all sorts of crafting magazines that come out with some pretty good stuff you can get um, for like free almost so here in this case I got this lovely um, stamp set and you can see it's all very much sort of wintry and Christmassy um, sometimes you can use a couple of the images throughout the year as well like this ivy uh, for example this little bowl but it's um it can be like a mixture of things but also look at this tiny little set right here they look smaller than the stamps but then stamps tend to be a bit wider because they need the outline so it could be that you you can um cut them out but for example there's this berry and the leaf that's quite big there's nothing like that uh, and there is a bird so it's sort of the images go with it but they're not I don't think they're sized perfectly to cut them out once you stamp them I'm not entirely sure but the point is that you can create some really nice uh, lovely um, cards or projects with something like that and then the one that I really really liked and I actually used it as you can see this uh, tag right here this one came from one of those magazines have a look in your shops um basically 
you can create lovely little baubles and tags and whatnot and this is how i created this tag actually is by using this die and that was pretty easy you can you know cut out tags out of watercolor paper so this was 300 gsm watercolor paper and do your artwork on a real good good quality um, watercolor paper and then from the previous year i have this cute little set which i haven't used so i might still use it this year i have this uh winter wonderland little collection which has a ginger bread man uh, candy cane star christmas tree all sorts of little tiny images as well as one quite a good sized medium sized snowflake which seems really intricate and lovely so that i would definitely also um, use and yeah so just watch out for what you can get um they quite often started doing now stem stamp little little stamp sets along with the die sets um, last year i got loads of those a4 stamp sets which are just filled with loads of themed stamps let me just get those so this one is a great one which is a bit of a mix so you can use it definitely throughout the year it's got loads of florals but as well as uh, christmas orientated um, uh, images as well and then i have this one which was really fun we used it with my son to create last year i think we did christmas cards um so loads of animals and we use this one as well um this is really nice and fun and then this is more of a spring one and then this is also spring one so just you know you can create a good collection of affordable but really good quality stamp sets oh let's see i've got some other stuff in this tray so i've got an embossing folder i've got some frozen wooden topper so this was all from last year and there is also a little snowflake card that you can also use so just you know organize them collect them over the years and then sometimes you don't even need to pay for a like a big brand type of a stamp set you can create loads of lovely things with these affordable small stamps so just um, keep in mind when you're doing grocery shopping just pop into the magazine section i love doing it during this time of the year and just you know look around what's there and um you can get really creative with these type of things so that is it for today i hope this was somewhat inspiring and thanks for watching and see you soon